Hey everyone, Alec here, and here's how to compress your video online for free. Once you're on Veed's video compressor, the link is in the description, by the way, you can click on upload your file, and then we're just going to select the video that we want to compress. So I've got this video here, and if I hover over it with the mouse, as you can see, it's 319 megabytes, so I want to reduce the file size of this video. If I click on it and I click open, it's then imported into Veed's video compressor. And depending on the file size and your internet speed, this can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes. So mine has just finished here because my internet is reasonably fast. And as you can see straight away, we can see our video in the compressor. And if I press play, hey everyone, Alec here with Veed. And in this video, we can actually see our video. So this is a YouTube video of mine. Just below this, we have a few specs of the actual video and we can also see the current file size. So here, Veed has seen it as 335 megabytes. Now we want to reduce this. So to compress this, there's a few things we can do. So first thing here to the left, as you can see, we've got the compression tool with the slider. Now, if we're trying to reduce the file size by a lot, we can slide it to the left, and this is going to compress our video a lot more, so we'll lose a lot more quality, but the file size will be very small. If we slide it to the right, the higher the quality, but the bigger the file size. So if we take a look, as we slide, we can actually see the estimated compression size right here. So if I slide it all the way to the right, it says my video is going to be anywhere between 178 megabytes to 330 megabytes. If I slide it, as I slide it, you can see all the way to the left, the estimated compressed size is reduced. Now I'm gonna slide it all the way over to here, so I want it to be less than 100 megabytes. Now you'll also notice here that I've got the advanced settings option, and this allows me to just change compression mode between constant rate factor and bit rate. And as you can see, we've also got a slider for the frames per second. So if I wanted my video to have 60 frames per second, I can slide it up to 60. And if I wanted it to have 10 frames per second, which would be very choppy, you can also do that. However, I'm gonna revert back to the simple settings and we're just gonna slide it so it's less than 100 megabytes. Below that, we can also adjust the resolution. So currently my video is 1920 by 1080, which is the original video's resolution, but we can change this if we want to post it to a different platform or we just want to make it a little bit smaller. So for an example, I could reduce it to 1280 by 720, and again, the file size is also going to be reduced then. And this is still a decent resolution for platforms such as Facebook and YouTube. However, I'm gonna keep the original resolution and just compress it to a third of its size. So now if I click compress video, Veed will then go ahead and compress my video. I do want to mention before we go ahead and compress, if there's anything you want to remove from your video, you can actually click on this edit video button here and this will allow you to cut, split, trim, add text, subtitles, audio, and much, much more. But I'll let you check that out for yourself. So now we're just going to click compress video and as you can see our video is now being compressed and the estimated time remaining is under one minute left and again this can vary depending on your internet speed and your video file size. So now as we can see our file has finished being compressed and if we take a look right here the file size has been reduced by 89%. File size is now 35 megabytes and that's 299 megabytes less than it was before so we've gone to 35 megabytes from 335 megabytes, which is a massive decrease in file size. So now I can go ahead and download my video, but before I download it, I might want to preview it and just take a look at the quality. So if we press play here. Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to... As you can see, the video has been compressed and it's noticeable due to the fact that we can see some pixels right here. So if I wanted to up the quality a little bit, I could go back and then reduce it by a little bit less because 89% reduction in file size is huge so if i just reduced it by 50 i'm sure the quality would be great and it wouldn't be noticeable that it has been compressed so now i can just click download and i can download my video with a reduced file size and again you can also go through and edit the video if you want so i'm just going to click download and now my video is downloaded to my computer and as we can see 34 megabytes. And that is how to reduce your video file size using Veed's free online video compressor. You can check it out, the link is in the description below. And if you have any questions regarding the video compressor, also drop them in the comment section down below. And with that being said, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, we would really appreciate it if you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.